Hello my friends, my name is Vyacheslav Tissen and I want to show you in this video how to install the new add-on Simply Material Fashion Design. How to install the add-on itself, how to install and use the textures and the asset library collection for the fuzzles or hair. Um, yes, let's start. So, the first one you get some folders from your download content if you buy the add-on you have the add-on itself do not unzip this let it like it is then we have the simply material textures pack here we have all textures created by me and the ai generated textures it is 1.29 gigabyte so and the starter texture you don't need this this is included in the add-on every time no matter which version you buy it's every time included it's a free and we have the fast collection for the asset library so this will we need to unzip but i show you this later for first we need to select the add-on uh, i copy the download pass go to blender edit preferences go to add-ons and hit the install button here we copy the pass and now we need to select the correct one so I go to the listed view, it's easier to see. So we have this add-on here. N just select it and hit install add-on. That's it. Now we can activate it and we see here the end panel. So now we can start with the starter textures and so on, but uh, we don't uh, want it at the moment. So the next step will be to, um, to add the textures we want so in this point we need to unzip it you unzip this you can uh, move this folder or unzip to your uh, textures library wherever it is here you have all the both uh, textures with all the content and we we just take this for now and um, we we know it's in desktop, simply material and texture spec. So let's try this. I select some um, ready-made clothes by Daniel Meyer. He helped me to create this epic uh, preset clothing pack, which we can start directly well with. So um, let's check. I set up the engine to cycles with GPU and the noise and checking out the render viewport in the studio or in a room. So now we hit create simple material. That's it. Here we can fix the scale if we don't like this, like it's around five. So and if we want to select new textures, which we unzip before, we just hit the first base extra icon folder icon and check out here the free the free um, textures so we have some of this some of this some overlays some micro and some colored textures oh we can start with this you see it's worked if we try the other one with color and see there is no color just in the color step use texture color and that's it so it works but i want all for this you easily go again to this folder icon and to the uh, download pass and here are the textures so you will go to your own um, folder directory and then you have the access to all textures. So let's try something like that. Yeah, it's nice. This has no texture color. We can switch over here and play around with the, with the colors easily. So it looks great, it looks good. And now we have access in any kind of uh, folder. We can go to the, we can go to the micro, uh, texture and select whatever you want 
So if I want to have this as a micro, we can check this here, play with the scaling. And there you see, see it. But what is happening if we want to add some fuzz and hairs? Uh, I just add a standard texture here for the first. Uh, I don't want some colors, so we easily reset the color ramp, set the tiling how we want. And now we want to have fuzz in this uh, case. We go to extra shading, hair fuzzles, and create the hair fuzzles. Very easy. So there, you, there are some fuzzles now, but we cannot see all. We have the fuzz geometry collection, which is great. But if I want to have more of these fuzzles, and I don't want this, we easily go to edit mode. So for first I go outside the rendering, edit preferences, and here we go to the file path. Before we add this, we go again back to our download content and unzip the fuzz collection. So for example, if you have your asset library folder, wherever it is on your con computer, you can just unzip it to your as asset library. And here it is, nothing more. You don't need to do anything. Just copy the path of the library, go back and in edit preferences file pass, you hit this plus icon and copy the pass. And select the folder and add asset library. So that's it. So I call it FUS collection. So if we want to change this FUS collections, we can go again back to the rendering view and Let's let's try a different color here or a different texture. So I go back in the starter. Oh, I was too too much. Uh, something like that. This will be good. So we have our new colored use texture color. So in fuzz you can select your material from the uh, base color, then it will create the correct colors for it. And I want to have new fuzzles here, not this. We go to the asset browser in a new window and selecting in the drop down menu uh, our fuzz collection. There it is. So it will, will be all faster if I'm not talking. But you see here, perhaps you can try some cool uh, carpet like us on this or a crumply uh, way. Just move it to the scene, drag and drop it to the scene. Select your object. I turn off the UI for the textures. Go to extra shading and hair fuzzles. Now we have here the possibility to go to the collection and we see this fast collection 7 here and now you see we have the crumpled puzzles and we can we can easily scale each oh yeah, yeah, each of the <laughs> uh, of the puzzles we want so if we want to change the first we can change it we can turn them all to zero in the scaling or testing which we want to have the biggest one and so on Ah, this is too much. And what is this like? Yes. So we have now a different puzzle, but I don't like this. I want to try this carpet like. I drag it to the scene, select again our object, and just select the collections in the uh, collections 12 and see how it looks like. Yes, in this case, we need more in the density so we can see the global density it is called for all these puzzles we can again here for each one we can uh, select the density 
but for now I tried something like that. And there we have the other fuzzle. So this is the starting point in the collections and the textures we have. And in later updates perhaps we can add some content like materials, ready-made materials, just drag and drop here from the asset browser and adjust them in the UI panel of Simply Material. Something like that. But I think uh, you see the results. It's very nice. Let's try a different texture. So we can we can see the the nice working of the fuzzles. But this type 12 is not good for this case. Let's start. Uh, let's test FUS, uh, FUS3. I don't know we have this. No, we don't have this. Just drag and drop to scene and select it in the extra shading hair fuzzles collection. Wow, this is too much. This is too high. Just set up the scaling to one or less. And then you see we have a different kind of looking fuzzles. And it are all match the color where it is appear to the uh, to the corrected way. So I hope you understand how to install the add-on the assets the library for the fuzzles and the textures yes that's it thank you very much all the best my name is Vyacheslav Tissen bye